Mayhem and High Tops here. So let's just dive straight into this list. Pans, a small saucepan, a large saucepan, a large skillet, a roasting pan, and two cookie sheets. So a small saucepan is great for your box meals like mac and cheese and ramen, right? And a large saucepan is great for your soups. Uh, a large skillet you can cook anything in. I learned to cook in a cast iron skillet, and that's actually what I prefer cooking in. The first time I was handed a metal skillet that wasn't cast iron, I was actually really confused on what to do with it. Well, not confused what to do with it, because I, I, I knew how to cook, right? But I was confused on temperature and stuff like that. So... Cook in what you grew up cooking in, or what your parents cooked in, so that you have a better idea of what to do and you have somebody to ask. A roasting pan. So unless you cook a lot at home, a roast you don't need a very big roasting pan. A 9 by 9 that's about an inch, inch and a half deep will do you justice and two cookie sheets. You're going to want two cookie sheets because one is going to be for cookies and one is going to be for meat. Right? If you wash them in between, it doesn't matter which is which, but you should always put foil down on your meat one before you cook it. Knives. A chef's knife, a paring knife, a bread knife, and so on. Um, you could always just get a butcher's block of knives, which they sell at Walmart and Target for around $30 to $50, depending on the quality of knife you get. Never, ever, ever put your knives in the dishwasher. Never, ever, ever. Place settings. So you're going to need four to six place settings, and that includes four to six bowls, four to six large plates, four to six small plates, knives, a so steak and butter type, Spoons and forks. You're going to need four to six of them. Of them. Now on silverware, you may want to get eight to ten because you traditionally eat three meals a day. A can opener. Get a good one. Like, don't get a cheap little flimsy one that's going to break after a use or two. Get a good can opener. They range about fifteen to twenty dollars. A spatula for flipping, a ladle for soups, a couple big stirring and serving spoons, salt and pepper shakers, a whisk, measuring cups and spoons, a strainer, a vegetable pillar, which sometimes comes with a butcher's block but sometimes doesn't, a box grater or a handheld one, this is for grating cheese. Um, if you don't have necessarily all the money you need to get all the things on the list, you could always just buy pre-shredded cheese until you get a cheese grater. A blender or a handheld juicer so that you can make thing puree things. A rolling pin cutting board, a hand mixer. Now, if you plan on baking a lot, you could go ahead and just get a KitchenAid and get a stand mixer. But if you don't plan on mixing a lot and you just need it for simple things, just get a handheld one. We have a handheld one and we bake all the time with it. So there's that. And a meat thermometer. Get a meat thermometer so that you aren't guessing if your meat is cooked all the way or not like that's the, like the biggest thing I could ever say to you is it's great for chicken because I can never tell if chicken is actually cooked or not until it's burning so stick a thermometer in a breast or a thigh or a leg and it, once it reaches 165 you can test it usually that takes about 35 minutes at 350 so there's that this has been Mayhem and High Tops. I hope you found this list helpful. If you want this list without the commentary, it'll be in the description below, along with a couple of my other videos for this series. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and leave me a note. Leave me a comment down below. Bye.